Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, tonight we're going to be changing some of the materials on the uh, objects that we have in the game right now um, because I'm getting ready to put this up on the web so you guys can see what it um, what it looks like. And the problem we have right now is that uh, we've been looking at things in the editing view so it's easy to differentiate between different objects but you can what you can do is if we go to the display in the scene we go to view mode and instead of running in textured we we set it to runtime uh everything is the same color it's this horrendous pink color um so you know if i hit play to play the game and i click on the button to launch the ball well you can't see it so a little boring so let's stop that and let's add some materials just to make things it's my, it seems to be my little catchphrase interesting um, let's go over to the design view this is um, helpful for doing some work with the materials and whatnot so the first thing I want to do is let's add um, let's open the scene just to so we can see things here Let's open, okay, no material found. Please create one. Let's call this ball material. Okay. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth here just because we're not going to be doing texturing. We're not going to be doing a lot of things. Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to turn on the lighting. I'm going to do per pixel just because it makes the lighting a little more realistic. And then I'm going to come down to, let's do cast dynamic shadows so the ball will, you know, when the light hits the ball, it's going to throw shadows onto the, uh, to the platform, to the ground. And we want to adjust, you know, there's a lot of things we can change, but the most important thing is the diffuse color. This is the color that, you know, you'll actually see on the ball. And let's, I don't know, let's just make it blue. Uh, it doesn't really matter for now. Um, let's stop the scene and let's hit play here so we can see what this looks like. So, plain Jane blue, nothing special. Um, if we wanted to, we could adjust the shininess. Um, I think this is only really helpful if you've got the specular on white or you know some variation of that, so you can see that. The shinier it gets, the specular is smaller, so you know it kind of gives it a glossy look. Um, of course, if you switch over to one of the other objects, it's not quite as apparent as when you're looking at a sphere. But anywho, so let's just let's just leave it at that, um, just for now, because I don't plan on leaving this on there. I just I want to get something up and going. So let's save the material and let's do a different material now. Let's create. Uh, let's call this ground material. Okay, in this one we're going to do the same thing per pixel lighting. Um, we will go to receive dynamic shadows. And let's change the diffuse to, I don't know, like a, you know, it seems like brown is kind of the standard for the ground kind of a dirt color and we don't want the ground to be shiny at all so let's adjust that down let's go to material save okay so we have our materials saved now let's go back over to the general tab let's load our scene and so we select the ball and let's drag and drop the ball material right onto the ball Okay, and then let's select the ground and let's drag and drop the ground material. And let's switch to runtime mode and see what we get. Oh, you know, hey, great, fantastic. Instead of a pink color, we now have this wonderful, beautiful gray. Uh, again, you can't see what's going on. You can't see the ball. You can't see anything. So don't be alarmed. This happens all the time is your first learning how to work with materials and things like that so the problem that we have is that we don't have a light source in the game so nothing's happening here so let's go to in our data explorer we're gonna go to models and luckily there is a default dynamic light set which we can just drag and drop into our level 
and let's switch back over to texture mode so we can see where that light is. I'm going to use my middle mouse button to kind of pan around here. Now I want to move this a little bit so um, if we select the object and then we go up to the translate button it's going to give us this little the little gizmo here that we can use to move it around. And I think that's um, you know I should plug in my space navigator because it's really hard for me to navigate around using the mouse. I'm just going to see, you know what, actually, duh, let's, um, yeah, we'll just leave it there. It looks fine. There's stuff that we can see. Let's switch back over to runtime mode. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. Let's hit, um, let's move the camera. So we're going to do a little bit more on this later, but the camera, um, there's a camera that we use for editing, which is the one that I've been using for the game the whole time. So as you notice, if you're in the scene and you're doing some editing you move the camera around and everything and then you save the scene and you play it well it's going to play from the viewpoint of wherever you left that camera um, when we get some more into get into some more camera stuff um, we'll add some cameras in and and uh, that are separate from the editor camera and um, you know we'll make sure that things look good so let's hit play yes let's save the scene click the button okay so there goes the ball we can see that there's a little bit of shadow there. Um, we'll wait for it to stop. It should bounce back. There we go. So it's casting a shadow down on the ground, and as it moves, you know, you can kind of see that it's there. It's maybe hopping a little bit, so that the shadow kind of fluctuates. It's a nice look. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to do for the materials for now. Um, you know, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to make things more complex and add some some cool textures and things like that. But for now, I just want to get things up and rolling on the website so that you guys can get in. And um, like I said before, you know, you're going to be able to just push the button and see the ball go. Not too exciting, but we'll be adding some more stuff. So hopefully, you'll you'll uh, go and you'll bookmark the website. Um, and then as we progress forward, um, if you can just join the forums that are on my website at subspacegames.com, there's a link at the top left for forums. And that will take you into um, the forum that I have set up. And, um, you know, just give me some feedback as we go forward in the game. Just let me know what you think, if there's any features, or, you know, if, you, if I add a feature and you don't like it, um, just let me know. Um, that way I can put your, your name on the the credits for some of the testing and uh, the game will turn out a lot better than if I was just doing it on my own. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and the next video will actually go through how to publish this to the internet. So we'll see you then.